The precedent that will be discussed in this video threatens the freedoms and rights of each of us. If the regulators win, the next step is the transition to an Orwellian dystopia. Hello friends, I'm Lado Khotnikov. I'm currently preparing a detailed response to each item in the 50-page SEC filing against Forsage and specifically against me. I don't have to think long about the answers. It's enough for me to tell it as it is, the whole truth. And it is easy to tear down all this slander and baseless SEC accusations to smithereens. The truth is behind us. We will win if arbitrariness and lawlessness do not triumph. If everything is according to the law, then the charges against me mean nothing, because there is no corpus delicti. The accusations are groundless, because there are no victims. It states abstractly about some victims, but show them to me. Let's find at least one who was deceived, in relation to whom the terms of the contract were not fulfilled. Show evidence that they are victims. A fraudulent scheme is the failure to fulfill a contract or the impossibility of fulfilling it due to a model that is doomed to be violated. Our model, on the contrary, has been working for 2.5 years and can continue to work and fulfill the terms of the contract indefinitely. Not a single participant in the programs I created found themselves in a situation of financial pyramids when you invest and the project simply stops or in some other way you lose what you invested in and you can't do anything. We uh, did not mislead anyone, as scammers do. And the SEC is misleading people by spreading false information about us, as well as spreading distorted criteria for determining Ponzi schemes. Distorted criteria for determining fraudulent schemes leads to the fact that there will be more victims of such schemes. We are already seeing how some promoters of real pyramid schemes use false SEC information about us to attract people to their fraudulent projects. Unfortunately, many media outlets are Frank Hakwok and even more so most bloggers. I'm talking about those who simply copy the new, change the text a little, rewrite and post without checking it. Thus, many of the internet have already become distributors of fake news about me and Forsage. In this regard, I cannot have any complaints against uh, those who report the news as the SEC filed claims against Forsage. <laughs> because this is a statement of fact. In this case, the source of the fake is the SEC itself. But many begin to procrastinate this news as supposedly evidence and almost put me on the wanted list, although I have never been hiding from anyone. Recently, the SEC has been attacking many successful people and projects developing cryptocurrency tools. In particular, Ripple, Elon Musk, Binance and all crypto exchanges in the US and now for Sash, the SEC is trying to block the decentralized community. I have in no way touched the jurisdiction of the United States. For Sash too, but for Sash is on a blockchain that is open to the whole world. I don't know, maybe the SEC would like the blockchain to be inaccessible to US citizens, but the blockchain is available to them. And of course, there are four such participants in this country too. And our community must stand up for these people. The entire American society must protect these innocent people. Because such precedents are unacceptable. A precedent with an unfounded accusation is a threat to your freedom. And don't know only the Americans, but the entire world community must stand up for our freedoms from such a precedent of arbitrariness. The SEC want to control each and every one of you, want to limit your actions. 
judging by the fact that they allow the free development of a fraudulent environment on the Internet. They are satisfied with all these real pyramid schemes that they do not notice and which cannot have a real impact on the development of the decentralized community. Because real scams can never win people's hearts. People believe in real ideas, like the ones we started with for such and continued with metaphors. And the SEC would prefer that the cryptocurrency world be associated with dark deeds and fraudulent schemes. Therefore, they are fighting with us with open, honest systems that develop the influence of the decentralized community. In the near future, I will add a detailed response to all points of claims from the SEC to me and to Forsage. This detailed response will be sent both officially to the SEC and other authorities and will be posted publicly. Plus, there will be an additional video version. The truth is behind us, so we will win with you. We are on the honest, fair and creative side, on the light side of the force. We are with you, force.